All right. Hello. Uh, I'm Corey. I am the uh, former on sabbatical CTO of Demagi. And uh, I'm going to try to make an app right now. So uh, I thought it'd be fun to, to do this and record it. I don't know what I'm going to do with recording. If it's good, maybe I'll put it somewhere. If it's not, I won't. Um, but I thought I would just document this process uh, of making an application. So I've got Comcare HQ loaded up here. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do is click on Applications. Um, and so for those of you who don't know, Com Comcare is, a, is an app building platform. Uh, it lets you make apps that you can deploy on Android devices as well as the, on the cloud um, and other cell phones. Um, and it's a, it's a great product, and it's, it's super easy to make uh, quite complicated applications very quickly. Um, so I'm going to try to prove that now. Um, and I haven't used this platform in uh, three months uh, since I started my sabbatical. So um, they've changed the UI. I haven't really tried that yet, uh, so that should be fun. Um, but yeah, let's, let's dive in here. So, um, so I'm being told here to click Add to start building my app. Um, and I'm being shown this app preview box, which uh, looks like a tablet, and it's telling me I can use this to demo my app. So that's that's cool. Um, I know about that. Uh, so yeah, so first I'm going to click Add. Um, and I want to track stuff over time. This is what I would say is the key differentiator of Comcare actually is, is this case management uh, feature. Uh, that lets you track stuff over time, so I definitely want that. I should note that I am uh, in South Africa, uh, so my internet is not the best, uh, which which might be the cause uh, of some of some slowness on uh, some of these page loads. But okay, so so it looks like Comcare has created a case list for me. Uh, as well as a register form and a follow-up form. So that's cool. Um, so the app I want to make is uh, an activity tracker. Um, so I've been using uh, an app on my phone to track activities. Um, I like it. Uh, and to be honest, it's probably a better user experience than I'm going to be able to make with Comcare. Uh, but I thought, you know, I, I think I could build this whole thing in Comcare, um, and I think I could do it really quickly. So I'm going to try that. So um, so the first thing I'm going to do is set up my activities. And so my activities are going to be cases. Um, and this is the registration form, which is going to create my activities. Uh, so I'm going to follow this nice little prompt here. And I'm going to create a text question. I'm going to say activity name uh, and I think that's all I'm gonna do right now um, so yeah uh, so now I've I've got my form here I can I can uh, I can't start uh, using the form it looks like until I do something in the follow-up form so let me do that now um, one thing I like to do uh, is open all of these forms in different tabs. Uh, that can sometimes save save some loading time going back and forth. Um, so the follow-up form, you know, I guess my follow-up form is going to be for editing activities. Um, so likewise, maybe I'll just say new name here. And this will allow me to put uh, the new name of the activity. Um, and I don't think we need to make that required, but we probably do need to make uh, it required on the first form. Uh, so I'm going to go back, and, and I've just opened that in a new tab here, so I can quickly switch between these two things. Um, but I'm going to save that over here on the registration form. 
Uh, and then I'm going to come back to the follow-up form and save this one. So now I've got my activity create and my activity uh, update form. Um, so let's rename this to update activity. Uh, and likewise, let's rename this one to create new activity. I don't know why my screen is flickering. It does that sometimes. I apologize. Cool. Um, so next, I want to uh, do some case management. So uh, basically, case management is the secret sauce of Comcare. It's, uh, it's how you link your data uh, and how you kind of work with data models within Comcare. So I clicked the uh, Manage Case button there in the upper right. Uh, I'm just going to wait for this to load again. Um, yeah, cool. So, right, so cases give me a way to track patients, farms, or other entities like activities over time. Uh, this form registers a new case, uh, and I want to set the activity name uh, property to the case property name. So great! It looks like uh, it looks like it's already done everything I wanted. Um, and so now is a good time, probably, to uh, test this. So I'm just going to click Start here, um, so you can see this case list, uh, new activity, and the activity name. So I want to track my running. So I'm going to submit that. And now, let's see. So if we go to update activity, cool. So the running is there. Um, we didn't hook up the update activity form uh, to the case. So I'm going to click manage case on the second tab now. Um, and the other thing, well, OK. So save questions to case properties. Um, so I want to save the property for new name to case property name. So this will change the property. Um, and yeah, so that looks good. Um, you might notice, you know, when I, it says untitled application here at the top, and then when I click start, this says case list, which is kind of ugly, so let's, let's change those things. Um, so again, I'm going to kind of click on these things and open them up in new tabs um, because I use tabs a lot, uh, but I, I find that it's, it's a good way to, to manage my application, kind of have everything open in, in one place. So let's change case list to uh, manage activities. Um, and let's change untitled application to Corey's sabbatical. Cool. So now, um, now when I now when I go in, you can see it says Corey's sabbatical at the top. It says manage activities. So this is looking good. Um, we can also see this update activity form. Uh, this shows me the activity. I'm going to enter a new name. Uh, maybe I actually want this to be surfing. So I'm going to change that. Um, and now when I go back, you can see the name has changed to surfing B, which obviously I did not mean to type. So I'm going to fix that and change it to surfing G. Cool. So already, you know, I've got this application where I can create stuff. Uh, I can, so let's add some other activities. I'm going to make an activity for running. Um, and let's make an activity for hiking. Cool beans. So now, as you can see, hiking, running, surfing, these are all here. 
Uh, so that's great. And I should mention, um, you know, uh, these are being created. Um, sorry, these are being created uh, both on the the device, which which is right now just this this window in this browser, um, but they're also actually being created on the server. So um, hopefully, I can go. Uh, look for data from myself, and let's see. And it's hopefully going to show the activities that I just made. There they are. Cool. So yeah, we can see there's there's three activities: hiking, running, surfing. Um, this is actually showing something interesting. So the case type here says case. Uh, my application, I actually want to use multiple cases, uh, multiple case types. Um, so I'm going to configure that here on the manage activities caseless screen. And I'm going to change this to activity. Uh, cool. So now when I make new activities, uh, those are going to be the correct case type. Unfortunately, that's going to break my existing activities. Um, so I'm not going to worry too much about these guys here. Um, but uh, I will go in. I will have to go in now and make uh, new activities. You can see because I changed that case type, the list is empty again. It's, it's searching for a new type. Um, so I'm going to make uh, just running again so that we have something in here to work with. Um, and we can see now, hopefully, if I refresh this page with the reports, um, so yeah, we can see now there's this new uh, case here with the right type of activity. Uh, and running and and these other guys we we can clean them up later um, they're not going to do any harm they're not really going to show up anywhere in the application if there's no uh, no module uh, is what we call them that that uses those case types um, great so that's part one uh, and I'm gonna stop it there we've seen how easy it is to make uh, a super quick uh, activity management tool. Um, and next I'm going to hook up these activities to actually uh, be able to track them. So looking forward to doing that. Bye-bye.